Good morning, Motown goes over on this 14th December. President George Weller has broken with tradition when he raised the issue of abortion in his Republic Day speech. This and more today in Bonjour News. Five former part-time Air Malta ground handlers have claimed the airline discriminated against them. The workers said they were not offered the same opportunities and benefits as their full-time colleagues. Earlier this month, Air Malta terminated hundreds of its employees with an early retirement scheme for full-timers. In a judicial letter sent to the airline on Monday, the part-timers demanded the same termination benefits. Ground handling was taken over by a new company formed between Air Malta and Italian Aviation Services SPA. And the employees will take their case to court if Air Malta doesn't take any action until Friday. The delivery platform Bolt Food will no longer work with self-employed courier drivers. On Monday, self-employed drivers were informed that their agreements would be terminated within 30 days. Those wishing to continue working with Bolt Food have to register as an employee of a work agency. This change comes two months after the government announced new legislation to regulate digital platform workers. The Times of Malta reached out to Bolt, however the company just confirmed its decision without giving any explanation. The abortion debate is still in full swing, now with the president breaking with tradition. More about this after international news. European Parliament President Roberta Metzola has warned that European democracy is under attack. Metzola's comments on Monday followed allegations that Qatar had bribed EU officials to gain influence. Belgian police have arrested four people, among them EP Vice President Eva Kaili. The four have been charged with corruption and money laundering. Qatar has denied any wrongdoing. Eva Kaili was stripped off her position as Vice President in a vote on Tuesday. The group of seven leaders pledged on Monday to give unwavering support and solidarity to Ukraine. They have promised to boost the country with military and air defense systems. Russia can end this war immediately by seizing its attacks against Ukraine and completely and unconditionally withdrawing its forces from the territory of Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has asked the G7 leaders to maintain the support next year. He said Ukraine would like to offer a peace solution, beginning with asking Russia to start withdrawing troops this Christmas. President George Weller has broken with tradition when he raised the issue of abortion during his Republic Day speech. After arriving at the Grand Master's Palace to much less applause than in previous years, Weller was the first to deliver his annual address. He said, I want to express my hope that we can find solutions that address all the points that are being raised during this debate. The President usually doesn't comment on laws being discussed in Parliament, however Weller said he felt that these were particular circumstances. Seventeen individuals have been honored during this year's Republic Day ceremony, among them late nationalist MP Robert Arrigo and former TV journalist Anna Bonanno. How should the state's institutions deal with children in domestic violence cases? Cedric Farouja raises some important questions. Why do victims still have to meet perpetrators, even against their will? Yes, children that have witnessed domestic violence still have to visit the abuser. The court of law rarely prevents abusive parents from visiting their children. The young victims, who in their innocence hear the screams, see the beatings and endure the fear in the sanctuary called home. The young victims, who have to flee the shelter of their home, just because the perpetrator has decided to use violence for the upteen time. Young witnesses of domestic violence are still forced to meet the abusive parent. The same parent who disrupted their nights with violence. The same person who burned fear into their souls. A trauma that will haunt them for decades to come. I ask, are we really acting in the best interest of the child when the courts grant the abuser visitation rights? Is the state taking all appropriate legislative and administrative measures when it comes to domestic violence cases? Why are the perpetrators granted access to the children, even if criminally convicted of domestic violence? Pets are taken from their owners when maltreated. Adults are provided with protection orders for all their worth. However, children are forced to visit their perpetrators. The opinion of Cedric Farouja. And if you want to have your opinion published on this channel, send an email to opinion at bonjour.mt. A quick look at today's weather, partly cloudy at a high of 23 degrees. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day.